Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight ahead, David. Thousands of other women, there's lots of other there's men as well. You know, this case is not just for our mother, but all of those victims who just don't get a full And if they're to come forward, they need to know that their abuse is going to be treated with the same severity as physical violence, because right now, it's not. This is probably one of the greatest miscarriages of justice that I've ever, ever seen in my entire life. I mean, Sally Charlin, who I visited in prison, is probably one of the most um, understated women I've ever met. She is strong and yet she's vulnerable. She has been in prison for eight years. <laughs> of horrendous abuse, maybe not physical, but mental abuse by her former husband, and I cannot say how strong I feel that this is a travesty of justice that we need to correct. I haven't thought to be all in the next two days, but I've done all I can. So really, it's it's up to them. It's up to them if they want to recognise coercive control. Because the evidence is overwhelming. You know, from friends, family, all this friend of my father, his family. We all have stories going 35, 40 years back to the age of 15, to the age of 56. It's not a justification. It's an understanding, partial to face to what has happened. She's serving her time. But she needs to be served correctly.